Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close up look and test the now broadband super fibre. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So in this box is a now broadband super fibre hardware package. And just taking a look at the details that's on the box packaging. And now let's go ahead and open up the box by cutting apart the white sticky seal that's keeping the box securely closed and sliding open the box flap to reveal the now broadband superfiber hardware package and let's lift out the items from the box packaging just setting them on the tabletop and of course lifting out the inner tray and setting the items across the tabletop And of course, checking through to make sure nothing else is left behind in this now broadband super fiber hardware package. And just closing the box back up and setting it to the side. So setting it on the left hand side of the tabletop. And just arranging the contents from the box packaging on the tabletop. So you have a full and clear look of the items that were removed from the parcel or box. So right there, the items from the now broadband superfiber hardware package. So let's first take a look at this card. So there is a card with the security details for the router. And of course, moving right along. So just setting that to the side and moving right along. There is a welcome to brilliant broadband booklet. And just flipping through to show you the details that's contained in this booklet. Okay, so that's the Welcome to Brilliant Broadband booklet. Let's set that to the side and bring the Need to Know booklet in view. And just doing some reshuffling of the details on the tabletop. So giving you a look right now at the Need to Know booklet. And let's flip it open to show you the information that's printed in the booklet. Okay, so that's the need to know booklet. Let's set it down 
and moving right along to the phone cable so giving you a look at the phone line or phone cable or phone lead which do have a publish or publish ends or connectors and just setting that down and moving right along we have the SkyMaster micro filter with the phone socket and the SkyHub socket and giving you a look at the details that's on it and the overall aspects of the SkyMaster microfilter. So just setting that down and moving right along there is what appears to be a power adapter with a British or UK 3-pin plug and of course a DC connector at the plug end okay and just setting that down and to the side and bringing in the hub to the now broadband hub to router so giving you a look at the overall details and of course the back of the router as well or hub and a close-up look with the various sockets for broadband Ethernet 1, Ethernet 2 a reset button as well as the power adapter DC plug socket it's right there giving you an overall look at the now broadband Superfiber Hub 2 And of course at the front we can see some details right there for the power internet and wireless or Wi-Fi LED indicators and the Hub 2 has an overall matte finish with some glossy accents to it and taking a close-up look at the bottom of the Hub 2 it does have four corners of slip resistant feet and to give you some sense of its overall size, just placing my hand over the top of the Hub 2. And lengthwise, right there, to give you, once again, some sense of its size. Once again, a quick look right round and now let's go ahead and perform a speed test.